The nervous system is the fastest communication system of the body. This communication is based on the receiving and sending of electrical signals from specialized cells. When you hear this, you're probably thinking, electrical, sure, but not like electricity from a wall socket or electricity that runs a computer. But really, it is the same type of electricity, the movement of electrical charges. This is why electricity can have such a big impact on the human body, from causing uncontrollable muscle contractions to potentially permanently damaging the nervous system and other tissues. The nervous system sends messages faster than the endocrine system can, because it's not dependent on the circulatory system and diffusion in order to transmit their message. Instead, the messages of the nervous system are sent through cells and tissues specialized for that task and that task alone. The most important of the cells of the nervous system are called neurons. These are the cells that are able to generate and transmit electrical signals of the nervous system. These neurons can be packaged into bundles along with connective tissue and blood vessels to form nerves, the communication pathways within the body. There are three functions of the nervous system, and each of these functions have their own type of neuron. The first function is sensory input. This is the receiving of sensory information from sensory receptors, and the transmission of that information from those sensory receptors to the nervous system by way of the sensory neurons. This sensory information is sent as a series of electrical impulses to the central nervous system. These impulses then need to be translated by the brain and spinal cord in order for that information to be understood. This process of translating that series of impulses into information is known as integration. Integration is performed by interneurons. Then, based on the results of this interpretation, a signal may need to be sent to muscles of the body in order for the body to move. This message is called motor output and is carried by the motor neurons. The cells receiving this message are known as effectors. These effectors receive the messages of the motor output and respond accordingly. While neurons are incredibly important in the process of transmitting electrical impulses, they are not the only cells of the nervous system. There are also many supporting cells which help to nourish, protect, and support and insulate the neurons. These supporting cells actually outnumber the neurons by as many as 50 to 1. Yet, when we look at the structure of the neurons, they share some important components with all animal cells. But they also have some unique features as well. While there is a central cell mass known as the cell body, there are many shorter extensions from the cell called dendrites. And there is a single, much longer extension known as the axon. The majority of the cytoplasm of the neuron, along with the common organelles, such as the nucleus and the mitochondria, are found in the cell body. The dendrites are the extensions which are specialized for receiving signals and transmitting those signals to the cell body. When there are enough signals received by the cell body to reach a state called threshold, then the cell sends its own impulse, known as an action potential. That action potential will be transmitted from the cell body down the axon. The axon always carries this action potential away from the cell body to the end of the axon, known as the synaptic terminals. These synaptic terminals are the highly branched ends of the extremely long axons. These synaptic terminals may be connected to several different receiving cells, either additional neurons or effector cells. The synaptic terminals contain large amounts of a category of molecule known as neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters aid in the sending of nerve impulses from one cell to the next. Drugs of many sorts affect the normal activity of these neurotransmitters. Examples are caffeine and nicotine, alcohol and various prescription drugs, antidepressants and the like, cocaine, LSD, and marijuana, just to name a few. 
Now that we have discussed the nervous system, we can answer a few questions. Which communication system of the body is the fastest? Is that the endocrine system, the digestive system, the nervous system, or the circulatory system? Which of the following is not a function of the nervous system? Integration, immunity, sensory input, or motor output? What extension of the neuron will transmit a nerve signal to a receiving cell? Is that the dendrite, the cell body, cilia, axon, or flagella?